Dear students, through coming illustration, we will discuss one very important concept of electric dipole. Here we will learn calculating force on an electric dipole placed in non-uniform electric field. हम लोग यहाँ पे लर्न करेंगे किसी नॉन यूनिफॉर्म इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड में अगर डायपोल रखा हो इलेक्ट्रिक डायपोल रखा हो तो उसमें फोर्स कैसे कैलकुलेट करें ओके सो लेट अस मूव टू इलेस्ट्रेशन पार्ट इन दिस इलेस्ट्रेशन वी आर गिविन ए स्मॉल इलेक्ट्रिक डायपोल पी वेक्टर इज प्लेस ऑन एक्स एक्सिस एट पॉइंट वन जीरो यू कैन ऑब्जर्व हियर इन दिस डायग्राम दिस डायपोल हैविंग डायपोल मोमेंट पी वैक्टर it is placed at this coordinate 10 1,0 the dipole vector forms an angle 30 degree with the x axis consider a non uniform electric field to have been applied in the region given by the vector e vector equal to x square i cap plus y square j cap what is the force acting on the dipole ab is dipole ko jo x एक्सिस से 30 डिग्री का एंगल बना रहा है और कोऑर्डिनेट में रखा हुआ है 1.0 पे डायपोल मोमेंट इसका है p वेक्टर और ये रखा हुआ है एक्सटर्नल इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड जो नॉन यूनिफॉर्म है क्योंकि x और y कोऑर्डिनेट के ऊपर डिपेंड कर रही है इसकी वैल्यू है e वेक्टर इज इक्वल टू x स्क्वायर i कैप प्लस y स्क्वायर j कैप वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट फोर्स ऑन द डायपोल ओके हमें इस डायपोल पे इस नॉन यूनिफॉर्म इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड की वजह से फोर्स कैलकुलेट करना है so let us make the diagram to the next space this is the situation this is the coordinate 10 this is the p vector dipole moment dipole moment vector is inclined angle 30 degree with the horizontal or x axis so here we can make the vector component in term of i cap or j cap so let us write dipole moment dipole moment vector will be equal to p cos 30 i cap plus p sin 30 j cap right ये हमारे पास हो जाएगा डायपोल मोमेंट वेक्टर आई कैप और जे कैप के टॉम में वी आर गिवन एक्सटर्नल इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड विच इज नॉन यूनिफॉर्म सो दिस इज द एक्सटर्नल इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ई दिस इज द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ओके नाउ वी कैन राइट द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी ऑफ द डायपोल एसोसिएटेड विद द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड विच इज इक्वल टू माइनस पी डॉट ई सो लेट इस राइट द potential energy of this dipole with this external electric field this is the dot product of this vector p vector and e vector that means this quantity should be equal to x square multiplied by p cos 30 plus y square multiplied by p sin 30 right hum log isko aise likh sakte hain now come to the force force on the dipole is equal to negative gradient of the potential energy so we can write फोर्स ऑन द डायपोल एफ इक्वल टू नेगेटिव ग्रेडियंट ऑफ द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी नेगेटिव ग्रेडियंट ऑफ द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इज नथिंग बट पार्शियल डेरिवेटिव ऑफ द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी हम लोग इसको लिख सकते हैं एफ वेक्टर इक्वल टू पार्शियल डेरिवेटिव के फॉर्म में दैट इज एफ वेक्टर इक्वल टू माइनस डी यू बाई डी एक्स ये हमारे पास पार्शियल डेरीवेटिव है जिस समय एक्स के रिस्पेक्ट में अगर हम लोग डेरीवेटिव निकालेंगे वी विल कंसिडर वाई और जेड एज ए कॉन्स्टेंट जेट के बारे में हमें सोचने की जरूरत इसलिए नहीं होगी बिकॉज दिस पोटेंशियल एनर्जी और दिस इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज कॉन्फाइंड इन द एक्स एंड वाई डायरेक्शन जेट का कोई भी कंपोनेंट नहीं है दैट मीन्स वी नीड नॉट टू केयर अबाउट के कैप सो हियर वी कैन राइट दिस एफ इक्वल टू माइनस डेल यू बाई डेल एक्स आई कैप प्लस डेल यू बाई डेल वाई जे कैप ओके डेल यू बाई डेल एक्स दैट मीन्स वी नीड टू डिफ्रेंशिएट दिस टर्म एक्चुअल में हमें इसका पार्शियल डेरिवेटिव निकालना है तो जिस समय हम लोग एक्स के रिस्पेक्ट में इसका पार्शियल डेरिवेटिव करेंगे वी विल कंसीडर दिस वाई एज ए कॉन्स्टेंट इफ वाई इज ए कॉन्स्टेंट दैट मीन्स डेरिवेटिव ऑफ दिस विल बी जीरो एंड दिस विल बी इक्वल टू टू एक्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाई पी कॉस थर्टी फॉर दिस एंड डेल यू बाई डेल वाई विल बी इक्वल टू टू वाई पी साइन थर्टी राइट वी कैन राइट लाइक दिस दिस इज द फोर्स नाउ coordinate is 1 0 we can write in place of 1 and in place of y is 0 and we can now substitute the value of cos 30 and sin 30 so the force on this should be equal to this much this is 2 multiplied by 1 multiplied by p cos 30 is equal to root 3 by 2 and if we substitute y equal to 0 this term will be 0 
So, after calculation, we can write this force is equal to root 3 p i cap. This is the force on the dipole which is placed in non uniform electric yes, students. Okay. Through coming illustration, we are going to discuss the application of a very important concept of electrostats. Here, we will learn calculating induced charge on a metal sphere placed in the external electric field. So, let us move to illustration section. In this illustration, we are given two small metal spheres A and B, each of radius is small r, supported on insulating strands, located at a distance small a, small a is much greater than the radius small r from each other are connected by thin conducting wire. In this diagram, you can observe this is a sphere A and a sphere B, both are separated at a distance small a. Okay. Size of these spheres, that means radius of these spheres is much smaller than the separation. And these two spheres are connected by thin conducting wire. That means these are interconnected. And they are supported on insulating strand, that means they are not connected with the earth. Next part of the question says near to the spheres is a what a point charge is small q at a distance is small l. A small l is much greater than a small r on the line joining the center of the spheres. Aap yahan pe diagram mein dekh sakto hai, this is the point charge jis ke baare mein kaha ja raha hai. Ye line joining two spheres ki line mein rakha hua hai aur sphere a se a small l distance. This is a point charge having magnitude small q. We need to calculate the modulus of the charge induced on the spheres. Hame yaha pe sphere A or sphere B mein jo induced charge hoga uski magnitude calculate karni hai. Okay. So, let us make the diagram to the next space. Ab is situation ko analyze karte hai. Sphere A and sphere B initially having no charge. Dono mein koi bhi charge initially nahi tha. This is a point charge. This point charge will create electric field and sphere A as well as sphere B will experience the electric field of this charge. Ye dono sphere is ki electric field ko experience karenge. The direction of the electric field we can observe from left to right. Hum log keh sakte hain left se right direction mein electric field hogi. That means this is a metallic sphere. Electrons, free electrons will move opposite to the electric field. Agar opposite to the electric field, agar move karenge, to this sphere will be the negative charge. Is may induce hoga negative charge and here will be positive charge, deficiency of the electron. And we know induced charge cannot form the net charge. It means the summation of the charge induced on both spheres should be zero. To hum log yaha pe assume kar lete hain ki sphere A mein charge induces minus Q dash aur yaha pe ho gaya plus Q dash. Okay. So, these are the induced charge. Let us calculate electric potential of the sphere A or electric potential at the position of sphere A. Hum log isme calculate karte hain electric potential. Aur hume malum hai ki electric potential is potential due to its own charge and due to external effect. Ab sphere A ka potential agar calculate karenge to potential of A is equal to potential due to its own charge that is minus q dash plus potential due to this charge which is placed at q and potential due to this charge. Okay. So, let us write V a potential due to its own charge, potential due to charge placed at O and potential due to this. Okay. And we know the formula for the potential that is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not charge divided by separation. So, potential of this sphere, the radius is a small r. So, potential of this sphere due to its own charge will be equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught minus q dash divided by small r and potential due to charge place at O should be equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q divided by small l and potential due to this at this position should be equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q dash positive q dash divided by small a. This is the equation number 1. Similarly, we can find potential of sphere B. Potential of sphere B will also be potential due to its own charge plus potential because of this charge and this charge. We can write this equation, right? This is potential due to 
its own charge potential due to charge place at o potential due to charge place at a okay potential due to its own charge will be equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q dash divided by small r potential because of this equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught small q divided by separation this is equal to l plus a and potential due to this is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught minus q dash divided by small a this is equation number 2 and we know both sphere a and b are interconnected they are connected by the metallic wire thin metallic wire it means potential of a and potential of b should be equal so here we can write v a is equal to v b so we can equate equation number 1 and equation number 2 like this now we can simplify 1 upon 4 pi epsilon will get cancelled equation will be like this and we are left with the equation having unknown q dash only so after solving we will get equation like this further solving equation like this this is q dash equal to q by 2 in bracket a square small r divided by l multiplied by l plus a and multiplied by a minus small r and we are given a small r is much smaller than a small a jo size hai wo bahut kam hai that means we can neglect here a small r in comparison to a small a we can write here a small a only like this okay and this is small a and small a will get cancelled and we'll get this term that is q a small r divided by 2 l l plus a this is the magnitude of the induced charge induced on sphere a or sphere b dono mein induced charge ki jo magnitude hogi that will be the same lekin agar hum log sign ki baat kare to this will be the negative charge or this will be positive induced charge okay